and today we're going to be making another plushie. Um, yeah, like we always do. In my previous video, if you read the description, um, that was the tomato plushie video, um, I wrote that I would be make it, making a tutorial on a type of plushie, I didn't tell you which one. Um, so today we're going to be making a cloud plushie. Um, I'm so excited to make this little cloud plushie, and it's actually really, really simple, so, yeah. Oh my god. Um, so I really hope you guys like this, and I hope it's easy, because I'm also a beginner, um, as lo along with a lot of you guys. That's why I make sure to keep it simple and easy for everyone to be able to do it. So, um, there's not a lot of stuff needed. Uh, we are just gonna use what we always use, and yeah. So... Oh my god, there's hair in my eye. Um, I'm gonna tell you what we need, and it's gonna be a tutorial, so I'm gonna go more in depth about it. So, yeah. So, if you wanna follow along, you can, because it's completely easy to follow along with me. I go so slow. But if you want me to go faster in my tutorials, I will. Just let me know in the comments. And I will also do a tutorial on any other thing that you ask me to. I like to sketch and draw. And so you can let me know if you want a tutorial for that one. I will, at the end of the video, insert a few clips of some of my drawings. And you can let me know if you want a tutorial on that. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. So we're going to start with things that we need. Alright, let's go! Okay. Like I said, you don't need a lot of things for this. You just need the basic supplies to make a plushie. And so the first thing you're going to be needing is a pair of scissors. Make sure it's sharp enough that you can cut the felt or whatever fabric you're going to be using. Uh, you're going to need wood glue or fabric glue. In my previous video, I already explained why wood glue works equally as good, so you can use this one too. You're going to need a fabric marker. I'm using a purple fabric marker, but that really doesn't matter. You're going to need um, blue thread and needle. You're going to need your polyfill, or I think it's just called stuffing. I call it polyfill for some reason, but you need your polyfill. And you're going to need black fabric, just a little bit. You're going to need pink fabric, again, just a little bit. I don't know why I didn't cut this one. Red fabric, uh, this one's optional, you don't need to have the red fabric. And, excuse me, you're gonna need blue fabric. All right, let's get started. So the first thing uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the shape of the cloud. So I'm gonna take my fabric marker and I'm going to draw two bumps, or maybe three, yeah, three bumps. So it looks something like this. Then I'm going to go over to the top and I'm gonna draw as many bumps as I want for my cloud, for the cloud puffs. That's going to be my cloud shape. Now you can go ahead and fold the plushie. Oh, yeah, I started to draw a shape just to figure out the design. So next we're gonna fold the fabric in, in half. And you're gonna cut out your shape like this. And if once it when it's folded in half, you'll get two of the same shape, which is what we want. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it out. Okay. So now I cut out the shape and now I have two of them. I'm still keeping them in line because we're gonna do a little bit of some trickery. Watch, since the lines are still showing, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it over and now the lines disappeared. And now your plush is lineless. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do all the decorating on this one just so that I don't forget that this is the side that has to be on. Okay, so we're gonna start with our little shape. So this is what I, this is what my shape looks like. You can use any other shape that you want. So now we're gonna start, we're gonna start cutting out two little eyes and a mouth. So I'm going to cut up a little piece of felt. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that you can use any type of fabric that suits you, and that suits what you like. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to cut out two little circles. To make them too big, because you don't want to make uh, your plushie look demonic. Because <laughs> I definitely made that mistake while making the tomato plushie. But then I fixed it, of course. So I'm just cutting out two little um, eyes. Make them identical. 
Of course, they don't have to be perfectly identical, but just make them a little bit the same. So now we have two little eyes. Now we're gonna make a little mouth. So we're gonna take a little more felt. You don't have to make your your um, your little plushy smiling like a maniac like this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like you don't have to make your plushy look like he's forcing a smile. You have to make it look that big. Oh, I can't even see there. That big. That's very big. But I honestly think I want my plushie to have a big demonic smile. Because big demonic smiles look cute. So, yeah. Let me just show you what that's going to look like. There's a little plush. So now I'm going to put these off to the side so that I don't lose them. And we're going to now take my pink. And my pink, we're going to take out this much fun. That's all we need. Okay, I'm going to now cut out two circles. And these circles are going to be a little bit bigger than our eyes, of course, because our cheeks, and we don't want our cheeks to be the size of our eyes. I hope your cheeks are not the size of your eyes. So like that big, so you can see what it looks like. Again, I've already said that the cheeks are completely optional. I might actually make them a little bit smaller. the other one okay there we go so now we have our little cheeks and our face So this one, again, is also optional, but I always do this. I take my felt, I take our felt, and we're gonna cut a little square, or rectangle. Fold, this, fold a little piece in half, and cut out a teardrop shape. So it kind of looks like this. When you open it, there should be a little heart. So I, I like to stuff the hearts inside when I'm filling it up with stuffing, as if it has like a little heart, a little heartbeat. So I'm gonna keep this off to the side. Okay, now we're gonna, oh, there's a little thing sticking out. Okay, now we're gonna glue on the face. I'm gonna glue it on right in the center. So I have my fabric glue or my wood glue right here. And the popsicle stick is so covered up. <laughs> okay, there we go. And I'm gonna take my little eye. I'm gonna start with the eye. I'm gonna put some glue on the eye. Okay, now I'm gonna glue on the other eye right next to it. I take more glue. Ugh. Now we're gonna spread it. That and then put it down. I just realized. 
this eye is a little bit bigger than the other one. So I'm going to cut it down. Just a tad. Looks like that. I'll take the mouth. I'm gonna glue on the mouth. Okay, so this is where I'm placing it. Okay, now I'm going to take the cheeks, I'm going to put on the cheeks. Okay, now we're done with that part. So now all that's left is stitching and filling. So we can put everything off to the side.